Okay, so with this video I'm going to show you three ways of finding the grade value of any colour. And this is something you'll use a lot throughout the course, so it's handy to know different ways of doing it. The first way is using the colour guide palette, and that's this palette over here. You can access that palette by clicking on the window button, at, sorry, the window menu, and just scrolling down and making sure that colour guide is checked there. Oops, I unchecked it. <laughs> Then there's the using the edit menu. So this is the edit, edit colors, and you'll see we'll be able to convert to grayscale there. And then using the edit colors dialog box, which you can access by clicking on this color wheel over here. So I'll go through those each of those individually. Perhaps the most um, time consuming one is this one on the right. This one will be most time efficient. And uh, this one is also time efficient, but it has um, interesting other options that I think you should know about. Okay, so these are our pure colors, obviously, so I'll leave those there and group that. And then we'll just click on this one. And in the color palette, the color guide palette, just click on the yellow that comes up there. And you'll see that you get a scale from muted to vivid. So long as you have muted to vivid checked in this option here. So in the color guide palette you get three options for swatches. You can see the tints to shade swatches around the color that you have selected. And you see here we've got um, a scale going from black to uh, a very light yellow there, not quite white. And if we have the cool to warm uh, option we've got all the warm and cool colors around this color that we have selected. And we can also have vivid muted showing and this shows us um, a, bit, a gradation of uh, saturation. So we're going from a desaturated to a highly saturated version of the color we've selected. So all you need to do in this case is to click on that last swatch there and you'll find that you get a desaturated version of the purely saturated color. So to do the same here, we click on the color and click on the gray swatched at the end. Click on the color and then click on the gray swatch and so on for the, these last two. And oftentimes the gray value of a color is quite surprising. So I would have thought perhaps this might be a mid-tone, but as you can see here, it's actually in the low range. It's quite a dark tone. So sometimes it'll be a little bit surprising what the results are. Now, if we use this option, the Edit, Edit Colors and Convert to Grayscale, we can select all of the colors at once and then just go Edit, Edit Colors and Convert to Grayscale. And you see we're getting the same results as we did with the color guide there. Finally, we can use the Edit Colors dialog uh, box, which you access by clicking on this color wheel over here. So I just have to put those and then I'll go click on my yellow and click on the edit color dialog box um, icon there. And you'll see here that you get this dialog box. Just make sure that you have the global adjust selected by clicking on this button here, this one to the left. And then you can just take the saturation level down. Now I've confused it entirely <laughs> because I don't have, um, I need to make sure my yellow is the one that's selected. Okay, so here we go. Global adjust and then saturation down. Okay, so click on the color, make sure it's active and global adjust, yes. And that'll be the same now, I won't have to check that every time. So just have to desaturate. Oops, it looks like I forgot to change the color up here. I'll do that one again. There we go. And last one. Oh, I forgot again. <gasps> So you have to be really alert. There we go. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, with each of the three ways that you can find the gray, gray value of any color, you'll get the same results. So just use the method that suits you best.